the Black Onion YouTuber emailed me a couple days ago. I don't even know your email address. How in the hell would I possibly do that? How would I email you? I don't know. Is there an email phone book out there where I can look people up and find out their email addresses? You really think I emailed you? No. Saying that his artwork is much better than mine, Dennis Ramsey of Kempful, Canada. I don't think anybody's artwork is better than anybody's. Each person who likes the artwork, they're the ones who determine whose artwork is better. If someone likes my artwork better than yours, then to them, my artwork's better than yours. Someone else might like your artwork better than mine, so to them, your artwork would be better to them. It's subjective in that way. Uh, that's not how art works. It, no artist is better than other artists. Each individual person picks whose art they think is the best for them. I have seen the art of the Black Onion. It is okay. I would say it's good. But Dennis Ramsey's folk art, fine art, abstract art paintings are much better than the Black Onion. My penis is bigger than yours. This is only my opinion. And what do they say about opinions? They're like assholes and they all stink? I don't know. You don't put up your art. Why is that? If you'd like to buy the Dennis Ramsey paintings, or request some Dennis Ramsey paintings, call me, 902-365-5044. I do it all. Fine art, folk art, abstract art paintings, and gothic art paintings, too. I it's nice that you're trying to sell your artwork online, you do all this stuff, but... You gotta find a way not just to give your phone number out, dude. Um, set up an email address and let people email that. Uh, you give out way too much information. You've given out, I've heard you give out your address. And then now you're starting in trying to attack some of the trolls. Trying to get that troll attention. Dude, you don't want your addresses being out there when you do that. Let me just um, straighten you out on that one. As you can tell, I just woke up. I'm still in my bathrobe. Had to bring my dog in. Or let my dog out and back in. Uh, I don't even, you know. I ain't even put up my makeup on yet. But <laughs> I don't wear makeup. There are guys that do, I guess. With all these little splotches I have with the rosacea, I probably should wear makeup, but... I wouldn't know what kind of makeup what you do. I don't, let's not even go there. Okay, um, I'm just hurrying <laughs> up. Um, it's nice that you sell, but you got to figure out a way to, you could put, you could set up an Etsy account, but don't ask me how to do it because I still haven't figured that out. Etsy wants to know all the dimensions of your artwork and how much it weighs and how much it costs to mail it and all that stuff. And I don't know all that information. So that's why I don't post a bunch of stuff on Etsy. I have like two paintings on Etsy. Um, but um, just don't do that, Dennis. I don't have anything against you. You have something against me. I don't really understand it. Um, but, uh, you know, I've never bothered you. And I've known about you for years. I've never bothered you. I've never harassed you. All of a sudden, now the blue, you're, you're fucking with me. I, I don't get it, you know, fucking with, um, oh, what is her name? Kitten Cat. And Kitten Cat is a female. Don't listen to John Cachilla or Cachillo, whatever his name is. You know, the guy that steals from charities. Don't talk. Don't listen to him. Um, it's better to have Kitten Cat on your side. She's a loyal friend if you ever get her as a friend of yours. To go off and attack her right off, that's kind of, that's not too smart on your part. Uh, she could help you develop your channel and develop your online personality if you want. Um, I'm not going to speak for Kitten Cat because, of course, I'm not Kitten Cat. I'm the Black Onion, Doc Zayas, Just Darren, Cotton Eye Darren. Boba Fett, many names I've used online. Um, 
I don't have anything against you, and I can tell you have some limitations, intellectual limitations. Let me clue you in on something about uh, you, you're 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 online attacking me, but you're protecting um, Roger Brown. Do you know Roger Brown goes after more people than I do, and he's more vicious than I am. He attacks people for simply being overweight. Do you hate overweight people too? Or do you see them as people? Let me know, Roger Br or not Roger, or Dennis Ramsey's. Yeah, I could have made a video totally making fun of you and everything. I did speed up your voice a little bit. I do that with everybody, so don't feel uh, you know, embarrassed about that one. Shamed or whatever. Nick Bravo, I go after him. I go after people. Not just to go after them. I go after people because I think they're just bad people. Roger Brown attacks women who have uh, mental issues. Uh, women who are autistic. Uh, women who have mental illnesses. He goes after women who are have eating disorders. Why does he do this? I think he does it because he wants, he'd be so ha thrilled and happy if one of these women committed suicide because, you know, some people with with problems already have low self-esteem. Why does Roger Brown continue to go after him? And then you go after me for going after Roger Brown for doing that? I don't get it, Dennis Ramsey. I don't get it. One artist to another. Why don't you reach out with an olive branch towards me and I can help you? Give you fair advice and help you. I'm trying to build my channel back up. Help you build your channel up. Make make maybe make a few extra dollars. Get some AdSense on there. You you need some work there, buddy. I mean, you got your own fun. I think it's funny. Oh, oh one million dollars for your artwork. That's funny, and people get a laugh out of that. You have a sense of humor. Work with me, buddy. Don't. Go after me. That's what I'm giving you. I'm, I'm letting out Olive Branch to you, buddy. You can take it or you can make a video slamming me. That wouldn't work out for you, dude. Because I have a lot of friends that like me and watch my channel. And they're trolls, too. And they can be vicious trolls. They wouldn't dox you because you already doxed yourself. And I, don't, I hope that none of the, none of the people who... Our friends with me are the type that would call the cops out to your house. And speaking of your house, I, I know that you're you're in a dilemma there. You live in a place where there's not a lot of rental places and you're getting kicked out of your place. Not kicked out or your lease is up or something. I, I, that, that sucks, dude. That's not the time to make enemies. You need to make friends, not enemies. You're trying to make me into your enemy. And you lost and failed at that because I'm not your enemy. I'm trying to be friends with you. So, just take that. Take that and smoke it. You know? I don't know. You seem like a little cool guy. You know? Someone I could hang out with and have some beers with and stuff. and Talk about our art. And maybe work on ways to sell art. Maybe I could help you sell some of your art. I've sold some of my art on YouTube. I made $500 in one night selling artwork on YouTube. <laughs> That's, I'm not making that up. I've never done that again. That was the first time I ever sold artwork on YouTube, and I, I made $500. Have a nice chunk of change. So, yeah, I could help you. And you could help me. There's probably things you know that I don't about artwork and, and selling artwork. I'm a terrible salesman. <laughs> Terrible, but a lot of artists are, from what I hear. Uh, I know some other artists online. I could hook you up with them too. We could start a, um, a art YouTube art community if you want. I know Christine Backfeather and Lardo, and there's a few others out there that you know we could hook up with and and you know help each other sell our art. If you want to do that there, Dennis Ramsey. You got to drop your prices down a little bit. I'm just joking. But 
you know, if you want to be, you got to be serious about it too, you know. You got to understand we're in a bad economy right now. Eggs are like $5 a dozen in some places. And gas just goes up and it comes down a little bit and it goes back up. Right now, people aren't going to pay a lot of money for artwork. Uh, sometimes you got to sell your artwork a little cheaper. I don't know what your real prices are. And I don't know, I don't see them just maybe. Here's another suggestion. Get pictures of your artwork and put them on your community tab. Like I do. I could show you some of my other artwork. I don't do folk art. Maybe you can show me about folk art. And I could show you about wildlife and, and, and doing old buildings. I could teach you those kind of things. Maybe we could teach each other it out and make our art better. How's that there, Dennis Ramsey, instead of attacking me? What's to attack about the Black Onion? And I won't be the Black Onion forever. I'm building my channel up. It's going to be a Black Onion for a while. And it's going to be something else for a while. And when I get to around 500 subs, I'm coming up with a permanent name, which has to do with my art studio and my little homestead farm I got. And with your dilemma, with your place to stay, I wish I could help you. I don't have any money right now. I'm getting ready to go on a cruise. And it wasn't a cruise that we were going to plan. It was something my mom wanted to do. And so we... Say we're doing it. We just got finished on a cruise. <laughs> Still paying for that one. Now we're going on another one, which is kind of, you know, a drag, but we'll get it paid off. Um, let's see, so this is some artwork from years and years ago when I was a kid. Some of it, you know, that's that's from when I was first starting out. All kinds of little artwork. My tiger shark. I didn't do that one too long ago. Is that uh, redhead girl? And, you know, I was teaching myself how to do artwork that's a lot of my old artwork although the shark is a new one um so you know i have my little art studio here you know and i hope you i hope you can get the same i hope you get a better place to live how's that how's that for a bad person that you, you're trying to tell people i am i'm hoping for better for you buddy what are you hoping for me but uh, get found in a ditch dead somewhere or something? I don't know. And let me also give you some advice. Stay away from Roger Brown. He, he's, he's, he's a clown. And he'll turn on you. And he'll make fun of you because to him you're just someone who's autistic or something. The kind of people he targets for abuse. John Carmelo, I don't watch him that much. Um, he just, he's, well, I really don't watch Roger Brown much either. Dennis Ramsey, I know you're trying to build up your channel and making a lot of videos, but I hope you watch this one and take some of my advice. As an artist to an artist, let's, uh, let's be friends. And then get to know me before you decide to make me your enemy. Okay? Sound like good advice there, buddy? How many minutes? Oh, I have 11 minutes. Okay, that's a long enough video. You have a good one there, um, Dennis Ramsey's. All the best to everyone. Do share and subscribe to the Dennis Ramsey YouTube channel. Thank you.